Welcome everyone to amazing IT news. Redux OS 080 was released the other day by Jeremy Zoyer of this popular modern research operating system implemented in Rust, um, microkernel and like hopefully eventually twice as secure for microkernel and Rust. A lot of time has passed since we previously looked into that. I made a previous video that is probably still mostly relevant here some time ago and um, probably like, oh, freaking three years ago. And they have amazing progress here with that release. It is um, adding 32-bit support. So lots, lots and lots of progress, 32-bit support. As I know, other people appreciate deletion of this code. I, Personally, I like backward compatibility for all this other fans of vintage and retro hardware. So x86, not 386, not 486, not Pentium, but minimum Pentium 2, I think or so. It's written here somewhere. Also preliminary audio and mighty display support. So as far as I know, it's probably mostly or usually unaccelerated. So only when you boot and EFI infrastructure provides information there about multi-display. So that, that is unaccelerated visa like stuff for now, but I'm sure with enough of time and contribution, um, soon there will be hardware isolated support there. Um, highly recommended to skimming through the long list of changes of quite some long time of development. Um, so the list of changes is also improved hardware support, right? So previously this was mostly development as far as I know in virtual machines. So as always with our own code here live on this channel and other hobby and research operating systems, often nowadays stuff written against emulated hardware, word IO and stuff in often QEMO, if not VMware, um, BOSS and, and, and so on. Um, so lots of improvements on real hardware, whether that is AMD 64, or the new uh, 686. Actually, ironically, as far as I know, uh, previously they had 32-bit code. They had this deleted for cleanups and refactoring. So they basically, as far as I heard and remember, they restored x86 32-bit support uh, in a cleaner and stuff way. Um, audio is proof of concept. Um, AC97 only. I will show you the code in a second. 16-bit um, 44.1 kilohertz hard-coded right now. It's of course one of the most popular, the only other, I, I would probably say kinder, like previously the most popular devs and sample rate, unless nowadays at times 48k. Um, but that stuff is of course missing some configuration bits if you wanted to play any other. And um, probably I guess mostly only supported on very few chipsets due to the nature of hardware quirks. Just look at the Linux kernel, many, many files of Realtek, Cyrus, Intel and, and AMD and others like, like, God forbid, there is a standard, like a thousand page standard and all you need is a thousand quirks, hacks and features. Um, BIOS supported Visa stuff on UEFI systems, um, supporting GOPS, this is graphic object or whatever. Um, advanced features like multi-display only available in the UEFI system firmware assigns GOP instances for each display, which probably a lot of modern AMD, maybe NVIDIA or Intel systems might do. So you might get that already. Intel, Ethernet, Realtek, PS2 keyboards, so that also lots of vintage systems, right? Everything not like last year's, but previously laptops and stuff, PS2, um, recently switched to I2C or stuff for energy savings and, and whatnot. So that takes care of lots of decades of vintage systems. AHCI, IDE, NVMe. I think not all of this is new, right? I'm not sure. So this is general support. So some of the stuff was there previously. I'm Maybe NVMe is new, but previously, like three years ago, I'm pretty sure there was already HCI. Although they added support for legacy IDE, I believe. So that was previously, at least for their boot infrastructure, um, booting from legacy IDE in whatever they called their 
startup called. Of course, lots of demo stuff, DOSBox, even games, uh, Doom, of course, of does it run Doom, certainly soon, Crisis. Demo applications there, there are orbital graphic stuff and desktop. I, I could run this, but honestly, it will look similar to that. They have here some screenshots, especially on, also on real hardware. So it's still proof of concept, right? You probably can't yet daily drive that unless you do text editor um, and, and so on. Um, sync, thin client and so on. But amazing progress, lots of progress. And I wanted to point out, it might be, so of course, one of the major, there might be other hobby projects, but probably the outstanding show project, showcast project for Rust kernel, low level bootloader kernel development. And maybe also for you, I probably shouted this out three years ago. I was surprised how clean and simple that code is, right? So it's not yet high performance. Probably in some years it might be high performance. I saw they had summer of code projects for IOU ring for Linux, similar in concept for Linux IOU ring, like user space IO, user space ring, scheduling for asynchronous system code handling. Um, I think I didn't see that there, that's so probably not yet mainline. They might be working on that. So if you look at this or try this out, it is not hardware accelerated and work in progress. So given enough people similar to the news kernel of 10,000 of people contributing to that over the years, I have no doubt they will have some pretty amazing high performance implementations. But for now, it of course works in some combinations, which is already amazing enough. But if you do operating system research or want to learn how stuff works, it might right now be a very nice impl um, implementation to look at, except enum handle to do. But otherwise, really small files, right? If you look into the Linux kernel, sure, they support everything in the kitchen sink, like the Steam Deck and stuff, and all of this devices requires like like basically every device intel amd nvr and stuff they need so many like it's like realtek cyrus so many quirks as i mentioned so if you look into the ac97 implementation looks kind of, of course it's like a thousand times or t even ten thousand like like three four five orders of magnitude more complex sure they support more and stuff but case in point if you want to learn low level stuff right now like in some years i'm sure rust redux os also needs to implement similar workarounds and quirks and features for all this buggy and not standard conforming hardware implementations but right now it is a very slim understandable readable just hundreds of lines of code for ac like case in point sound right because it is new three years ago i looked into the nvme as uh, the, the AHCI driver, I believe. You probably want to. Uh, did I post this link? I post this link. And welcome everyone. So, if you want to learn operating system stuff right now, this might be one of the most readable yet modern and even micro server and user space driver implementation. Um, and for that, it's probably a treasure trove for people who want to get into this. As not only if even if you not a fan of Rust, but probably you will be after reading that. But even if you want to implement stuff in C++ or C, or like God forbid C, certainly enough kernels written in C already, right? Don't, don't try this in 2022, but readable stuff, right? Understandable, like if you open the Linux kernel, performance hacks, quirks and stuff, um, IRQ handling, and so this is all of the AC97, although I believe, um, now that I just saw this there, there probably is somewhere some Intel driver hiding Maybe, what was it, IHDA, uh, maybe that is larger, actually, I didn't look into that. So maybe I was spoiled. Um, is this, okay, the system calls, okay, this is like probably other, like, like, of course not API compatible, but probably is it some, I've not, I've not read all of the Redux OS code yet, right? So this is live uh, code review. So I believe this looks like, 
some kind of audio start stop in uh, API. I believe that is the right driver, right? How large is that? Okay, this is a little bit larger. Uh, what do we have here? Is it even? I would like one pro tip I would appreciate if this files would have a one line of summary of what it is because it would make review like this easier. Global control, um, word physical uh, widgets. So yeah, actually, I was already surprised that the driver was so small. So yeah, it's probably audio, yeah, um, audio buffer, yeah. So the actual driver is a little bit larger, but still we had device. Okay, this is just uh, the module. And what do we have here? Some is it mixer nodes capabilities? Yeah. And also, so not only to learn, still example, readable example, um, also due to the nature of Rust, certainly be more expressive than C, making the rule exactly what C people hate of C++ in a Rust. It's hiding some implementation details, like, yeah, but it also like similar to C++, certainly Rust can easily make sources like a magnitude or two more compact, in my opinion, also more readable. Although I'm aware some people argue it's hiding the implementation details and making it harder to understand. In my opinion, not because it also makes stuff easier to read, to follow, to understand, especially like Endianus helpers, um, other buffer, MMIO, PCI device instantiation and similar such stuff. Anyway, I'm really thrilled um, about this. Also, they have, of course, also progress for ARM, I believe. Was it there? I think I saw ARM somewhere. Support for ARC64 um, has been improved. So that is not entirely new, but improved. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a risk fork already. So yeah, right now, I 686, AMD64, ARC64, aka ARM64. Um, and now more hardware. I'm thrilled. I hope more people tune in there and make research and development for safer, more microkernel and um, modern language operating systems. Because as I also made previous video, did Linux kill all research? I'm um, operating system research because everyone just forks Linux and tinkers around there. Leave in the comments what you think. Maybe try it out, maybe send some patches, love donations or fill issues of stuff that did not just work. But last but not least, I'm also thrilled that they support vintage and retro stuff and take great pride in supporting still decade old, as I would call useless machines like old ThinkPads and stuff because they were of course once nice machines or still are nice machines and with a compact system you can still support them and similar to myself i um, like even using those even if it's just for i mean you can still write code on them right not everyone needs a compo setting when i mention stuff i noticed following jeremy so yeah on um, social media that he also did some redos hack which I probably shout on a dedicated video. I hope you enjoyed this news summary and learned something. As usual, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for more of such amazing shout outs, news, and low level code here to come. Maybe some quick check on greatest invention, C language, something. Seems no. Fridge gets which fridge? The not sure what fridge you mean, but my Ryzen is running, compiling to two. That's it for today. See you next time.